well hello my lovelies i hope you all are doing well i am doing well this is a requested reading that i've got since you've requested this reading i would really appreciate if you comment like share subscribe share it with your friends please do comment i don't see a lot of comments i don't see a lot of views on my subscription here but it's okay um please do comment okay that's my sincere request now this is a requested reading for those asking for what's next in relationship okay it's a possibility that um, you are wanting to seek for a significant person that person there is no contact there's a block okay or you you're not sure on how to go about with this relationship you do not know what's the energy of this person you do not know whether it's safe for you to move ahead with this person or no okay so that's the kind of uh, reading that was requested and i thought uh, you know let me just do a general overall reading as well for you guys and see what's the energy so we're going to check for the energy of the person we're going to check for whatever the person wants to tell you uh, maybe it's a long distance maybe you're in no contact maybe you've just started communicating and you do not know how to go about this relationship you do not know how this person is with you now again just a little disclaimer this reading is not gender specific okay we are not gender biased here so it's your divine feminine or divine male energy whoever you're looking for this is a timeless reading whenever you stumble on this video this is a reading for you and um, uh, this is an intuitive tarot reading that i do for the general so whoever taps into this energy it's for you if you do require a personal reading please dm me on instagram or you can connect with me on Pereira. that's p-e-r-e-r-a sherry at yahoo.co.in or contact at luminous uh, guide at gmail.com all right and uh, from there we'll take it uh, please do not be fooled and stay away from scammers okay that's happening quite a bit i will not proactively call people asking for any sort of money okay so please 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 just be aware of that and please my lovelies please comment and like and share and subscribe just uh, show me that love and support that i really require reminding you again it's a generic reading and it's not for anyone specific but this is a live reading so i'm going to be shuffling all my cards here right here in front of you and we are going to check for the energy the overall energy the overall energy says rebirth okay two more cards please before i tap into it two more cards please we have past life so definitely this could be someone from your karmic cycle or a past life connection number 10 could be significant number 18 could be significant your date of birth the person that you're looking for that person's date of birth and then we have existence wow so i see i feel this is a very twin flame soul connection okay for some of you so for some of you it could be a past life or a karmic cycle or a karmic connection with this person hence there's a push and pull effect that's happening for a lot of you there is an end of a relationship and this is a new relationship so for a lot of you uh, you may <clears throat> sorry you must have gone through a very very nasty relationship that's just over maybe you are in a rebound stage and then you're looking for this is for some of you again okay it's a generic reading for some of you it's a past life connection for some of you it could be all that i'm talking about right now and there is a coexistence with this person there's a very strong push and you know push and pull effect with this person that you are not able to understand why are you so attracted to this person why is this constant push and pull effect this is like it's getting a little hard on you right you're not able to understand you're not able to fathom you're not able to just make make sense out of it uh, for some of you definitely you're trying to move on from this person you know but then this person keeps pulling you back like there's a huge amount of you know like a pull like a pull right the pull that keep coming back but there is a coexistence here there is an existence where where i think there is a possibility of this relationship blooming out of mud out of nowhere for some of you and some of you really need to be holding on to that strength 
uh, you may be dealing with a significant Leo, not necessary, or they may be having strong fire in their chart, or you may be a Leo, that's a possibility, okay? Number one could also be significant for some of you. So that's the overall energy that I see. If it resonates with you, please comment and say, yes, it resonated. Um, let's check further what's happening in this relationship, okay? Need three cards, please. Three cards for my viewers. So let's check the energy. My, my hand is a bit slippery. It's been raining out here. I hope wherever you guys are, you're safe, you're indoors, and you are healthy. That's important. Stay healthy mentally, physically, and at a spiritual level. Okay. This is your energy. I see you're the queen of pentacles. Okay. Whoever's watching, it's not necessary you're a male or a female. It's an energy. It's a feminine energy, but it's a very grounded energy. So I see that you're the queen of pentacles here. You have stability. You have the money. You have the pentacles. Uh, wow. We have a justice card, number 11. Maybe you're dealing with a significant Libra or you are Libra. Not necessarily, but I'm just going to... One card just flipped here. Okay. Oh, some of you have been really working hard on this relationship. Okay. I see what you need in this relationship is stability. Okay. You are looking for stability. You are looking for some sort of um, like strong justice. You are looking for... Uh, you know, you're looking for balance in this relationship. That's what you're looking for. And you've been working hard. You're the person who've been working hard. Number eight could be significant, right? This is you, okay? This is your energy that, that I have picked up. This is you. You're working hard. Uh, you know, maybe you've traveled across the world, okay? Uh, you have been putting in a lot of efforts in this relationship. So this is, this is absolutely you who've been doing that. Maybe you're an Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you've been working solid hard in this relationship and you're waiting for results. You do not know where is this heading, okay? Let's check your person's energy now. And you are stable. You have, the, you have your job. You have your ducks in the row, okay? All you require is an emotional balance in your life. And you are waiting for this person to bring in that emotional stability and that emotional balance in your life. Because you've been working on your pentacles. You've been working really hard on your pentacles. You've been um, working on your monetary backup. You're the queen of pentacles. You're the queen of, you know, stability. You're the queen who's grounded, who has this earthy nature, right? Let's pick three cards and check who is your person. Who is your person? Let's check who is this person that you're dealing with. Who is this person that you're dealing with? What's this person's energy that you're dealing with? Wow. What's this person's energy that you're dealing with? We have, we have seven of wands, fire energy. Maybe you are your person, but this is mostly your person. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo. This person is very guarded at this point in time. This person is absolutely guarded. He or she that you're dealing with is not opening up to you and always gets into a defensive mode whenever you are trying to communicate you know with this person there is a conversation this person does get into a defensive mode is that what's happening is that what's happening comment let me know give me an emoji if if you do not wish to comment okay but you have the wheel of fortune this person has the wheel of fortune number 10 this person is very fortunate and it's right below justice right so you will receive the justice that you're looking for or maybe this person's left it on destiny and is not really working hard like the way you are working hard you are really slogging on this relationship 
and maybe this person is not slogging on this relationship as much as you would like to see there has to be s some sort of transformation you know we have the death card number 13 could be a significant scorpio that you're dealing with and at the bottom of the deck you have number eight you have eight of swords where this person is on a self illusion this person is wearing um like a blindfold on his or her uh, eyes and is actually not looking beyond that like you know uh, kind of in in his own element in his own stuck energy in his own self you know in his own self delusion and see because below that there's the moon card where there's a lot of drama and emotions that you're going through yeah and then there is three of cups which talks about celebration and collaboration in emotional uh, capacity so the energy of this person is that this person is absolutely guarded gets into a very defensive mode maybe some of you have recently had a breakup okay that's a possibility and you will be or this person has broken up with you and maybe looking for a new relationship uh, and hence you are checking on this reading i'm going to clarify a couple of cards for you i'm sorry about that but this person does have or is working on its fortune and uh, it does have stuck in some sort of karmic energy and karmic cycle and you are stuck with this person in this person's karmic energy or karmic cycle that's what that's the message that we, we've got because you know you've got this major arcana card here where you are seeking justice okay you are seeking that justice and justice will be yours for sure justice is at your side and justice will be yours because you have been working very very hard on this relationship okay and this person has got the wheel of fortune and death as their major arcana card so this is a major life cycle that's happening at this point in time in this person's life where the person has left it on his karmic cycle and there has to be a death of something death doesn't mean only physical death it also means waiting to have a metamorphosis kind of situation in life waiting for a transformation in his or her life okay so that's what this person is waiting for this person is not concentrating on relationship at this point in time but is concentrating on a significant change to occur in his or her life okay but let's clarify why is this death card here yeah this person is also very intuitive queen of summer so this person is very emotional and intuitive and uh, definitely uh you know definitely because this person is also emotional but it's going through a phase at this point in time and here yeah, four of summer and looking away from the love that you have to offer being very distracted at this point in time not looking at the magical opportunity that you have for this person okay right now this person is very disconnected so that's what i've clarified okay this person is absolutely disconnected from the love that you have to offer from the emotions that you have to offer okay at this point in time let's check what are the action let's check what's the action that that you need to take or this towards this person okay queen of autumn there again see queen 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 of autumn be patient queen of pentacles is back again my friend so it's like a double confirmation that you have to portray grace in this relationship you have the ability in you you the viewer okay who's watching my viewer you have the ability in you to make a right decisions to make beautiful decisions you have the ability in you to meet the perfect partner that you're looking for but stay practical okay stay practical at this point in time first you need to work on self-love you need to work on your energy okay you need to work on your self-love you need to be practical you need to proceed with this relationship very practically at this point in time because you have the ability to make a decision a huge decision you have the ability to meet the right person who, who is of your dream it's a possibility that this person is going through a lot of shift and changes at this point in time and hence this person is not able to give you what you're looking for okay and so be it rather than you you know spending your energy and time on this person uh and beating yourself up 
just be practical okay sorry about that be practical take just take just breathe and work on your pentacles work on yourself rather than only working on this relationship work on yourself let's check your angels messages it's up to you see absolutely your angel is saying it's up to you you want to compromise it's up to you you want to make things work for you it's up to you what do you want what do you want it's up to you but i think you should be you know trying to move with grace you need to be assertive you need to be assertive in your emotions you need to be practical you need to head towards with practicality because there are big happy changes waiting ahead for you okay there are definitely big happy changes waiting for you let's check what are the scrolls some unsaid words this person is trying to tell you but is not able to so let's check okay let's check what's happening here okay we'll just pick a couple of them okay i just heard azan okay this person does love you but is indecisive at this moment so what kind of love is this i have no idea you would know better this person does have some sort of love for you i'm just hearing azan so happy eid to all of you who are celebrating um, this person does love you but is confused at this point in time see when someone's confused about you you got to give that person the space right because this person is confused and it's it's maybe you've had memorable journey and memorable time with this person that's what you're reminiscing and you're missing at this point in time and you're all mushy and emotional that could be a, a possibility and yeah it's saying hopeful so stay hopeful but stay practical okay stay hopeful but stay practical one more please and another one over here says let's do it let's do it so i don't know maybe you want to you want to take that step but be assertive okay because that's your guidance that we got that says be assertive in whatever you do because i'm sure for a lot of you watching here the reason you are here is there's a pull and push effect and that's and you're confused right you do not know what's happening you're confused let's pick a charm for you okay i've got to evil eye stay away from all evil and there's a star so it's like wish upon a star okay so wish upon a star okay see what's happening but move cautiously and move practically okay so i this is your reading my friends i hope you enjoyed your reading if this resonated with you and you want to uh, take this ahead please feel free to connect with me for um, you know personalized reading on your relationship i do have discounts running this month only for, uh, you know for a question two questions depends on how many questions you have so connect with me and get perspective and clarity on this meanwhile keep watching this for your free general readings it does not cost you anything to click a thumbs up or comment or subscribe or hit the notification icon it just this this video reaches to more people who deserve to know this okay so i hope you enjoyed the reading till we meet again stay safe stay blessed and i love you all goodbye